What is the difference between autoencoders and PCA? So autoencoders and PCA are both dimensionality reduction techniques which means they are used to reduce the number of variables in a dataset while preserving the essential features or structure of the data. However, they use different approaches to achieve this goal. Autoencoders are a type of neural network used for unsupervised learning. They consist of an encoder which maps input data to a lower dimensional representation and a decoder which attempts to reconstruct the original input from the lower dimensional representation. The primary goal is to learn a compressed representation of the input data while minimizing the reconstruction error. Example, let's say you have a dataset with images of handwritten digits, for example, the MNIST dataset. You can use an autoencoder to learn a lower dimensional representation of these images that capture the essential features. The encoder might map the 28 by 28 pixel images to a 10 dimensional vector and the decoder would then attempt to reconstruct the original images from these vectors. By training the autoencoder, it learns to compress the compress and decompress the images, effectively <coughs> reducing the dimensionality while re retaining key features. Now, the architecture of an autoencoder consists of first an input layer which takes the original high dimensional data then an encoder which is a series of layers that progressively reduce the dimensionality of the data and c a latent space the lower dimensional representation of the input data which is what a latent space is uh, and also we need a decoder which is a series of layers that progressively increase the dimensionality to reconstruct the original data and finally, we need the output layer, which provides a reconstructed data. Now, let's talk about the PCA. Now, in principal component analysis, this is a linear statistical technique used for dimensionality reduction. It works by identifying the directions called principal components in the high dimensional space along which the variance of the data is maximized. The first principal component captures the largest variance. The second principal component captures the largest remaining variance orthogonal to the first component and so on. By projecting the data into a smaller number of principal components, you can reduce the dimensionality while retaining most of the variation in the data. Example, Suppose you have a data set of wine samples with 13 chemical properties. You want to reduce the dimensionality for visualization or further analysis. You can use PCA to identify the principal components that explain the most variance in the data set. The first two or three principal components might capture say 90% of the variance. By projecting the data onto these components, you can reduce the dimensionality while still retaining most of the information in the data set. So the steps involved in PCA are first standardize the data set that is mean centering and scaling, then calculate covariance metrics, then compute the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of the covariance metrics, then select the top k eigenvectors with highest eigenvalues where k is the desired reduced dimension and finally project the original data set onto these selected eigenvectors. Now the key differences between autoencoders and PCA. First, autoencoders are neural networks capable of learning non-linear representations whereas PCA is a linear technique based on orthogonal transformations. Autoencoders require iterative optimization, can be computationally more expensive than PCA, which has a closed form solution. 3. PCA assumes that the data lies on a linear subspace, while autoencoders do not make this assumption and can capture more complex relationships in the data. And fourth, autoencoders are more versatile and can be used for a variety of tasks such as denoising, anomaly detection, or generating new data samples, while PCA is primarily used for dimensionality reduction, data preprocessing, and visualization. In summary, both autoencoders and PCA are dimensionality reduction techniques, but they differ in their approach, 
assumptions and capabilities. Auto encoders are more flexible and can capture non-linear relationships.